And now let us pray for ourselves and for our world. Steadfast God, in the midst of unending change and challenge, we give you thanks for your presence to sustain us. While we find it hard to understand why things happen, we are grateful that you are with us, for you understand our fears, you support and guide us, and you give us courage to face the unknown. We give thanks that you intend goodness for us, that your gift of faith is a solid rock which supports us, that prayer gives us the hope that you keep working in ways seen and unseen for goodness to prevail. Loving God, in this time of uncertainty, when there is much to be anxious about, we pray for the world you love. Send your healing spirit to guide countries and communities as they continue to respond to COVID-19 and navigate what seems to be new information every day. Bless the work of medical researchers and frontline health care workers in these stressful times. Bless all of those essential workers in grocery stores and driving trucks and working in schools and education. Bless the plans to offer vaccine to all who want it. And give us patience and common sense as we wait for our turns to come. Send your healing spirit to bring peace with justice to the troubled places in our world. Bring care and comfort to those who have been hurt in conflict, wisdom to those who offer leadership in their communities, and courage to those who advocate for the most vulnerable. Send your healing spirit to mend relationships between religious groups and cultural groups who find themselves in tension or turmoil. We pray for mutual respect to grow between peoples who look at each other with, suspic with suspicion and among people who have experienced painful histories with each other. Open our hearts and minds to those whose situations and concerns we don't understand and bring your gift of reconciliation to us all. Send your healing spirit to people we know and the earth you love. We remember before you friends in grief. We pray for Jerry and Marie Oglesby as they grieve the loss of Marie's mom, Celia. And we pray for Cody, Lindsay, Addie, and McKinley as they grieve the loss of Cody's maternal grandfather. We remember relationships marked by tension. Those facing difficulty at work or finding work. Disagreements in our church or in our community. And concerns about the environment that we depend on for our very lives. We pray for the continuing ministry of this church and all churches in our neighborhoods and around the world as we prepare to celebrate Easter and Christ's resurrection, help us to plan safely and creatively. Send your healing spirit to raise our hearts and our hopes with the promise of new life in Christ. Restore to us the joy of your salvation and sustain in us a willing spirit. As we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Our closing hymn. 209, O oh, Love That Wilt Not Let Me Go, sung by our own Marianne McVicker. <laughs> 